Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the difference between package deployment and project deployment? So first of all, we need to understand when we had project deployment and when we have uh, package deployment. In SSIS 2005 and 2008 and R2, we had package deployment. And uh, the project deployment is a new concept that uh, introduced in SSIS 2012 and 2014. Now, uh, when we look at the old versions of our package uh, packages what we have uh, we call it package deployment uh, and we were deploying our SSIS packages to the file system or we were deploying uh, our SSIS packages to the SQL server where they were saved into the MSDB database. Now let me show you how it was looking. So I have uh, one of the project uh, that uh, is set to package deployment model right now i'm using ssdt sql server data tools but i have the option to set my project to the package deployment model uh, so what i have here if i click in the any of the package what i see i see package configuration and inside the package configuration if i will add it i will have different type of configurations available to me xml configuration configuration environmental variable registry parent child and sql server now this is the old style when we were using ssis 2005 or 2008 and we do not see anything here just the data source tab here and we have our packages now let's go to the new uh, style or new uh, new way uh, how the project deployment work so I created uh, this SSIS project uh, and what I see here I have uh, this uh, project dot parameters and I also have connection managers so these are the new two tabs uh, which are available to us so we can create the connection managers uh, on the project level and we can have uh, different parameters uh, on the project level and then we have our SSIS packages here if I click here, I do not see any SSIS uh, configuration. So I cannot really make a configuration, XML configuration or SQL server configuration here. In the old style, when we were deploying our packages uh, to the file system uh, or uh, to the SQL server database that was the MSDB, uh, we were using those different configuration files uh, and uh, inside those files we were using con connection managers variables to pass the values to those uh, packages at runtime when they were running by using SQL Server agent job or any third party schedulers. Now in the new style or project deployment we will be deploying our SSIS packages to the integration services catalogs and we will be passing the values for the parameters and connection manage managers from here and we will be creating our jobs and we can call the packages from the uh, these integration services catalogs. We can create multiple uh, environments uh, on one of the uh, C uh, integration server or S uh, SQL server. Uh, right now um, there is no separate integration server in uh, SSIS 2012 or 2014. Uh, you will have this tab, uh, this is called integration services catalog that's introduced to you. So you can uh, create uh, multiple environments here. You can create a uh, dev QA production and then deploy your packages in those environments and have the parameter values or connection manager values according to the environments. So major difference between package deployment and project deployment you are deploying your packages to the um, file system task or sorry uh, file system or you are deploying your pass packages to the um, um, SQL server and they were stored in the MSDB and you were passing uh, the values of, of configuration by using XML configuration or SQL server configuration and all that but in the project deployment uh, you will be deploying your packages to the integration services catalogs and you will be passing the values from there still uh, one thing I would like to tell you you have the option uh, in the new version uh, in SSIS 2012 or 2014 when you have installed the SQL Server you can deploy your packages to the file system and create a job from there so you don't have to have a deploy your packages to the integration services catalogs here but uh, to answer this question the major difference is the configuration the way these packages were used in the configuration in the old version and the new version that's uh, the major difference now 
in the current one you have those project level uh, parameters and connection managers they were not available in the old versions so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video